This is one of the smallest fishes in the world, the Pandaka pygmaea or the Philippine goby. And I'll be releasing them to this nano ecosystem I built. This small paludarium has a flowing water with land and water area. I will also add shrimps and other river creatures that will complete this mini river ecosystem. It all started with an empty 6.5 gallon tank. I've always loved rivers and the lush greenery that surrounds them. So I thought, why not build one? I had no clue where to begin, but I did have this small piece of driftwood that looks like a small tree. I glued it to the tank, envisioning it as the centerpiece. I crafted a small box to house the pump, which would bring my water feature to life. The flowing river was going to be the heart of this tank. Meanwhile, in my temporary tank, my pandaka fish is already giving me looks, impatiently urging me to hurry up. He's like telling me to stop with the talking and work quickly now. I continued setting up the tank as quickly as possible. For the base, I used spray foam. Now, it's time to add plants to the land area. I gave the tank a good spray before planting. Now that the land is all set, it's time to bring the water area to life. The water creatures are getting impatient and they cannot wait any longer. Get moving now! Okay, I really need to work on this fast. Someone is impatiently waiting. We're done building the water area and it's now time to test the water flow.
You may have noticed that I added a thread at the end of the waterfall. This is to minimize the water splashing. Springtails. The first inhabitants are springtails, as they are great cleaning crew in a closed terrarium or paludarium, doing all of the hard work keeping the soil clean and free of molds. Hey! Snails. Snails can be a great addition to any aquarium. They play a useful role in keeping things tidy by eating algae, leftover food, and decaying plant matter. But it is important to keep an eye on their population as they can reproduce quickly. A week later, I added my blue shrimps in. They have been waiting for this moment for too long already. I was having such a great time watching the shrimps in the tank when all of a sudden, I noticed something. Are those eggs? Snail eggs! Looks like our snails are starting to reproduce. I can even see some newly hatched snails. How cool is that? As our Mina River ecosystem is thriving, it's time to add more creatures. My adult red cherry shrimps. And now, it's time to add one of the smallest fishes in the world, the Pandaka Pygmaea. The males reach maturity at a standard length of 0.9 cm and can reach up to 1.1 cm. While the females are slightly bigger, which can grow up to 1.5 cm. The pandaka fish have settled in. Next up, we will be adding blue neon gobies. And that is something you don't want to miss on our next video. <laughs>